Hi, this is Kevin with Centerpoint Archery. Today I'm here to discuss the differences between the cocking devices we have for our crossbow lines. Traditionally, we've always used a two-hook style cocking rope with our crossbows. For the CP400 crossbow, however, you must use the cocking sled that comes with it. Using our traditional rope cocker, you want to take the rope cocking device into the groove on the back of your stock, have your hooks follow parallel down the rail, once they're engaged and hooked securely on the string, double check to ensure that the rope is in the rope groove, and from there you may begin the cocking process. With the CP400 crossbow, it uses a unique sled design with two distinct string grooves. So the first step would be to ensure the rope is in the rope groove. The rope runs parallel down the rail, unobstructed from your scope mounts. The sled is seated under the riser bridge with the string grooves fully engaged. Ensure that the rope is in the rope groove, is running parallel down the rail of your crossbow, and is not caught on your scope mounts. What you want to avoid is only having one of the string grooves fully engaged and trying to cock the bow back, as that'll damage the crossbow. So again, make sure you're seated firmly under the riser bridge. The sled is fully engaged with both string grooves on the string. The rope is in the rope groove, running parallel, unobstructed from your scope mounts. And now you may begin to cock the crossbow. Now that the crossbow is fully cocked to disengage the sled, take your thumbs, push down on the sled, remove it up and over your scope. Now you're ready to load an arrow and enjoy the use of your crossbow.